Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about what we did at uh, our hack at CalHacks uh, 2014. And so what we're doing is we're taking some data from the vehicle simulator. In this case, we kept it simple and we're only taking uh, vehicle speed. And we're taking that data and we're sending it to the cloud, um, to our database, to our database in the cloud, which then the Raspberry Pi is streaming that data back onto it in real time and then triggering some physical electronics on our 3D printed steering wheel to give you some haptic feedback. So for example, um, if our simulated car starts traveling over 30 miles per hour, our 3D printed steering wheel is going to start to vibrate. Okay, and here's the demo. So let me start up our simulator okay and now I'm gonna run gonna start now I'm gonna run the dump script okay and in this case everything's alright since our vehicle speed is at zero zero since our engine is off so I'm gonna s start the engine start run and I'm gonna start to accelerate and eventually you should notice the vehicle speed value um, start to increase let me just increase our accelerator percentage Okay, so our vehicle speed is starting to increase. And ideally when it hits 30, um, the steering wheel should start to vibrate for a bit then turn off. So we're at 20 right now, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I'm focusing on these values over here, 30. And there we go, it just vibrated. And then let's slow it down hit the brakes and your speed should decrease it's a little slow um, in fact what I'll do is I'll stop this dump script and then restart it and then show you guys again so I'm gonna lower our brakes and then increase my accelerator and as soon as it hits 30 over here in our vehicle speed value our steering wheel should vibrate okay 15 halfway there and there we go so that's pretty much it but um, right now what I'm showing you is basically just a proof of concept that we can take the data from the car, send it to the cloud, and do different things with it. Um, in this case, we were vibrating a steering wheel and uh, giving some haptic feedback to the user based on their speed, but we can do different things. For example, um, if your car head car's headlights are on, we can um, take the headlight status from the cloud and then stream it onto your pebble. So if you leave your lights on, you could get a notification on your pebble or even on your phone. And there are um, so many other things like your fuel level. Um, you can see where you are, your position, um, your odometer, your fuel consumed, um, your high beam status, your wind windshield wiper status. There's so many things that you can do with this data in the cloud. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's our hack. Uh, thanks for watching.